Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome to this week's episode of The News. These outages are giving me a stomachache. For the last few days, some PS Plus users have been reporting difficulty in accessing their accounts. When trying to use software on their systems, they are being told by their PS4s that they don't have the correct license, even for free apps like BBC iPlayer and Vivo. Sony support haven't come up with a solution just yet, but have been made aware of the issue affecting some users. Some believe it may be related to the recent PS Now beta, the long ago promised app that allows PS3 games to be streamed via a cloud service requiring no download or install of the titles. Games can be rented individually or a subscription fee can be paid. It hasn't been confirmed, but some report the issue of not being able to log into their accounts arose when restoring licenses and taking part in the PS Now beta simultaneously, so perhaps don't restore your licenses for the time being. Keep an eye on the PlayStation community thread, the link will be down below if this issue is affecting you. Secrets? I'm getting butterflies. In a recent Xbox One advert, it was discovered that a couple of glitches in the video display some binary code, which leads users to the website huntthesignal.com. This leads to a countdown when viewed on an iPhone. Further digging revealed some terms and conditions that state the website is the beginning of a Halo 5 competition, wherein the prize is to have a character in Halo 5 designed with your likeness. The competition is skill-based, no chance whatsoever, and requires teams of four, though you can be automatically matched with other single participants if you wish. It's unclear how to enter just yet, but it appears as if the countdown will reveal some puzzles upon ending. When solved, the puzzles lead to the Terms and Conditions page, and you may enter the competition. We'll report more once the countdown has ended. Quit your belly aching, Splatoon is on its way. On May 7th, Nintendo will dedicate a Nintendo Direct announcement entirely dedicated to the Wii U exclusive Splatoon, their take on the third person shooter. The game, due to release on May 29th, sees players firing ink at opponents and the environment in a bid to cover a level with their colour ink. Players can also swim through their own ink as squid to replenish their ammo and hide from other players in 4v4 online battles. Many Nintendo fans have been eagerly awaiting this game and more announcements about it for a while, so put a reminder on your phones and tablets and digital calendars if you're waiting for this one. 3pm May 7th for you Angles and Bretons, or British people, or whatever. Just thinking about completing Doom again gives me a stomachache. DOS games for some of you just means games that are a waste of time, but for me it's a walk back into childhood. Well, now you can play old DOS games on Twitter. Thanks to Internet Archive, who recently made around 2,400 games available to play in your browser, the games can now be embedded in tweets. The legality of the archive is under question, but these things have to be stored somewhere for posterity and research, and both web browsers and Twitter are very good, very public places that allow easy access to information. Some of the games don't run perfectly and the old school DRM protection will still be present in many, often requiring the game box or booklet for a code or to answer a question, but it's said to be a pretty good analogue. Check out the internet archive to gun down Hitler in Wolfenstein 3D or get your butt kicked in Karateka. Don't fill up on too many free games, you'll upset your stomach, you lucky little beasts you. Next month's PS Plus offering is a real treat, especially for Vita users. Four games will be given away in the soon-to-be-released monthly pack for Vita. These are The Unfinished Swan, Race the Sun, Murasaki Baby, and Hahokum. All are Stranger-themed offerings, all are free for PS Plus subscribers, and all but Murasaki Baby will also be released for PS3 and PS4. Ether 1 and Guacamele will also be joining the roster for PS4, with Ether 1 being a day one release for PS Plus and the PlayStation Network. Gotta love Sony for making that subscription cost worth your while. More details about all of the games can be found on the PlayStation blog, but don't forget to download this month's titles before they disappear on May 6th. A different kind of rumbling that you can help with. 
Ubisoft is raising funds to aid relief efforts in Nepal this week after a 7.8 magnitude quake rocked the land and destroyed homes. Ubisoft's game, Far Cry 4, was set in a fictional place that was heavily influenced by Nepal and so the company has decided to match all donations up to the $100,000 mark. The donations will go to the Canadian Red Cross who are sending a relief team to assist the victims of the natural disaster. At the time of writing, the total stands at almost $25,000, so just a little more and you could be a part of raising $200,000 to help the people of Nepal. If you want to donate to the cause, the website can be found in the description, so head on over and let the Far Cry team match your donation. That's all we have time for this week. Looking forward to some Twitter doom. Can't wait to squirt your ink in Splatoon. And which PS Plus game are you most looking forward to playing? Don't forget to tickle the unicorn to subscribe. If you'd like to watch our last video, you can catch it here. Don't forget to like the Facebook and follow the Twitter. See you next time.